Hey there Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave me a comment and let me know if this reading resonates with you. Alright, so tonight we're going to do a traditional reading and um, I'm going to pull some narcissist cards with the, with the reading and see how that goes. So, let's go ahead. I've went ahead and shuffled some of the cards. Let's shuffle these two though. That would be a good idea. So I've got good news. So for anyone who would like to um, become a patron, I have um, just recently started doing prints of like 3D um, mandalas and things of that nature from home. So I bought a snap maker to help my art business. Uh, I'm an artist in case you didn't know that. Um, so I don't really have any framed yet, but I am super excited and I will be offering free, um, I don't know what yet. I, I think they have, they have, um, like 3D mandalas, man, mandalas, and they're so pretty. I've been working on some. I'll have to leave a link in the, at the end of the video, there'll be a link to my art page so that you can check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. We've got, um, we're going to use the wild unknown tarot now i want to go ahead and say this is not for the faint-hearted if you are uh easily offended or maybe a little touchy then maybe this isn't a good reading for you but if you have been dealing with a narcissist or you have narcissistic tendencies this is the reading for you all right and i have a feeling that um you know, I hardly get any views at all unless I do the narcissistic tarot readings. So normally I don't do them till the end of the month, but I just thought I would go ahead and do one now. All right. So for your question, go ahead and think about whatever your question is, and this will be the answer to your question. All right. And that is the Five of Pentacles reversed. All right, so five has to do with challenges. It's definitely going to be, um, you know, it's the picture is a rose that's lost its petal. So let's go ahead and pull all the cards and then we'll read it. I'm going to read it from the book, probably, maybe. Because these are archetype cards and this is representing your um, factors affecting your question. So the people in your life around you that are affecting your situation. All right, so it looks like we've got a worm here that's been cut in half. Well, as you know, cutting the worm in half doesn't exactly kill it, but maybe that's two worms. I have no idea. Let's, let's check it out. That's why we've got to read these cards because they're a little different. All right, so um, for your immediate past, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right, so you um, I'm just so confused because there's only nine Pentacles. It says ten though. Okay. All right. So anywho, the Ten of Pentacles has to do with success and. But it's reversed, so you may be having some hard times getting um, to the success that you're wanting. But um, this lady actually, she does not believe in reading the tarot cards reversed. I, although, I do. So I feel like most likely that you might be struggling with something right now. Maybe it's not directly affecting you, but I think so. Because we've also got the chariot in factors affecting your situation. So this is actually usually an opportunity or more than one opportunity. Um, now this one, this card is like, again, it's not exactly the same as say your traditional tarot deck would have 
um, two, two chariots or one chariot with two horses pulling it in two different directions. All right, and here's a really beautiful card. This is the, um, six of wands, six of wands. All right, so I'm definitely going to have to read that one because, um, that looks very different than what I would have anticipated. All right, so let's pull your narcissist cards. Are you ready? Okay, so the wilted flower. We've got this wilted flower. We've got this worm that's chopped in half. We've got the spiral into the ten of pinnacles. It looks like in your past you had made it. You had everything, everything that you ever wanted. Everything was looking good. But for some reason it's reversed right now. So you might be having some kind of issue. So for this five of pentacles, we've got long-term effects of manipulation, physical rejection, abusive partner, sub substance abuse, perception, emotional rejection, rejecting love, rejecting emotions, um, devaluation, criminal behavior, boundaries, cognitive distortions. All right. Cognitive distortions are like, um, I would say like maybe gaslighting would be a good example of cognitive distortions where they someone might be trying to manipulate you into thinking um, something that's not exactly what you had anticipated reacting to a narcissist okay it says do not show them how disgusted you are by their actions when the narcissist tries to shock you with their narcissistic ways don't let it um you know destroy you make you angry don't show your um they're trying to get under your skin so don't let them all right and the ten of pentacles right next to it this is in the past everything was falling into place but something happened and now we have an emotion the emotions of a narcissistic manipulator emotions of a narcissistic manipulator okay so the thing about that is when you're dealing with someone who's emotionally like okay the best thing i can say is i have to watch out how i word this okay so let me see so if you're dealing with someone who's manipulating you emotionally they they may um be able to dish it out and um they may not be able to take it though you know what i'm saying so just be careful how you react to uh and that's the second card that's talking about emotional manipulations all right and then for the factors affecting your situation so um we've got entitlement the expectation that one is entitled to some sort of special treatment which actually the chariot can make you definitely feel like that because it gives you other options and sometimes just a couple more options on the table makes everybody um, reevaluate okay so if it's your partner or your job or whatever if um, there's other options it opens more doors and more opportunities and entitlement um, it can crop up personally if you find yourself in a situation where you're getting a lot of opportunities and you know what you can't ever uh oh it says watch out for self-sabotage you cannot define who you are by the clothes that you wear you can build value around vanity you can't you can't build value around vanity what is intrinsic value is who we are okay so um also you cannot beat yourself up for not having what you feel like should be this uh whatever it is that is causing this self-worth okay whatever's making you self-sabotage all right and this is dr romany um has is some really good videos about this 
and um, bullying people until they get what they want and how to deal with that. So um, basically, you just can't give in to a narcissist whenever they're trying to bully you. Um, people think that if they harass you, then, you know, it's going to like somehow um, force you to give in, but... All right, I'm going to have to read this last one, okay? This one is The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Gottman. Dr. Gottman has a book about the four horsemen of the apocalypse of narcissism, which has to do with, like, a cycle that that causes, um, you know, unsteadiness. Can, it can lead to divorce or a breakup. So it starts with criticism. The first thing that happens is criticism. So you're getting this card and it's right next to the five of wands. So I'm going to have to look this one up. Six of wands. I'm sorry. Um, because it just looks so much different than the depict, than the depiction on the traditional card. I've got to take a look. So it says from the dark and tangled branches emerges a butterfly new life takes flight if you're not revealing uh, reveling i'm sorry i always do that in the joy of success already you will be soon the six of wands is a card of victory and of rising up against the odds the obstacles have been relentless but now is not the time to look back upon them the more pressing question is, where will you go with your new set of wings? All right, what? Okay, so this is the dealio. So this is what's holding you back, probably. Criticism. All right, so the thing is, um, criticism can start a cycle. All right, so it's so important for each and every one of us especially if you have children or loved ones who are maybe elderly, if you're a caretaker or something, to watch your tone. Because you might say something and you're really meaning to help someone, but because of the tone that you took, they automatically think you're trying to criticize them. All right, and then um, it says how you can react to criticism is allow yourself some space, use discernment, share with trustworthy people. So of course you're going to need to vent your feelings, um, to somebody, hopefully a professional, but, um, you know, if you don't have that, then just make sure it's someone you can trust and that they won't go back and tell everyone what you were saying when you were venting. Take responsibility for your needs and be patient with yourself and others. All right, so the website that this is from, uh, that I got this information on how to react to criti without criticism, how to react without criticism, okay? Um, it says, Christy Ing, I-N-G-E, C-A-R-I-S-T-I-E, I-N-G-E dot com. So, um, the... The information, so what I try to do with my narcissist cards is um, the problem and then the solution. So on the front of the card I put the problem and on the back I try to put some type of solution as to how to deal with it. Alright, so it looks like, um, I want to take a quick look at this Ten of Pentacles over here. Um, and for one it just has nine pentacles on it, so I'm just like, what? <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so this is actually the Ten of Pentacles, though. It says the Ten of Pentacles signifies material and spiritual abundance. This is in your past, all right? And it says in nearly every area of your life, the number of ten usually indicates competition. And in this case, the journey was well worth it. So be generous, not only with the, your money, but also with your wisdom. Provide guidance to those who struggle, and you will be rewarded tenfold. Okay, that, that is something that I highly agree with. I feel like that is sound advice. And um, whoever this narcissistic manipulator is that is associated with your Ten of Pentacles, which is your everything, which is your happiness, 
<clears throat> they may be trying to, mm, you know, manipulate you. So, um, the best thing that you can do if someone's trying to manipulate you is just solidify your happiness and, um, and you know, everything else will fall into place. I, I really truly believe that if you're meant to be with them, it will work out. Uh, even if you're being pulled in multiple directions, even if you're stressing and you're struggling, um, this one is, you know, this is opportunity. It's coming. This is a factors affecting your situation. Someone's going to help you here. And for the answer to your question, we've got the five of pentacles. Which, as I said, has to do with challenges. And um, let's take a look, though, and see if it has any grand advice that will help us. Um, the Five of Pentacles is a card of hard times. It may come in the form of an illness or a job loss, financial troubles, or a rejection. But above all, there will be worry. So much worry. This anxiety is counterproductive and damaging. Okay? You must find a way to quiet the mind during the difficult time. Rely on meditation and visualization to find your peace. All right, I highly recommend this uh, visualization and meditation. Um, personally, I, I'm epileptic and I've recently taken myself off my meds so that I can try to have some babies. Yay! And, um, so, basically, I really have to meditate every single day. And, um, and it really does help me to, like my medication said that if I come off of it, then I'm pretty much 50% chance I'm going to have a seizure. So, as often as I can balance my emotions. I try to meditate and think positive and you know that does I can't believe it but it, it really helps. I mean it just seems ridiculous to like sit around and um you, you know ohm <laughs> but sometimes good vibes happy lives right? All right so thank you so much Capricorn. I hope this reading resonates with you. Come back and see me next week.